Hello, my name is Wayne, and today we're going to talk about magazine compatibility. As I buy more guns, I get more magazines, and I find that some of the magazines are compatible with different companies. So today, I'm going to show you some of the magazine compatibility that I found. The first mag mags that we're going to talk about are the Glock mags. A lot of people that you see online, they say, Hey, does this gun take a Glock mag? And people will usually reply yes or no, or some jerks will usually say, No, it's not a Glock, so why would it take Glock mags? Well, for those jerks, this is a Mossberg MC1. It was designed to take the Glock 43 mags. I found this out when I went to purchase the gun because the salesperson, when I had asked um, if they had any extra mags, they said, no, but it takes the Glock 43 mags. And so I ended up buying a bunch of the Glock 43 mags. Now, a lot of guns, the Glock mags are so common that a lot of guns do take them. And they have aftermarket Glock mags that fit in them. So like almost every pistol carbine out there takes Glock mags. And a lot of the uh, Glock knockoffs will take Glock mags. You have like the Gucci Glocks, the Shadow Systems and all those. Those take Glock mags too. So it is a good question to ask. Hey, does it take a Glock mag or not? The next magazine compatibility thing I've noticed is here's a Jericho 2. Now I was trying to find magazines for this and couldn't find them anywhere. This is the IWI factory mag and the thing about this is it's a CZ clone. So I started to do research and I found a CZ 75 or the shadow uh, mags are the exact same. This is one made by Metcar and it cycles and locks back and that's because this was designed to be a CZ clone and you'll find that with a lot of CZ clones they could take the uh, CZ mags so the next one I'm going to go over is the Walther PPQ when now this mag fits in the new version the Walther PDP the mags are the same and it functions the same. But the thing that a lot of people don't know is that the Canic TP9 and the rest of the Canic series, they were a clone of the Walther P99. So their mags fit in both the PP the PPQ and the PDP. And it functions no problem. Um, the interesting thing is I have tried to take and put the Walther mags in the Canic and it's, the, it's a really tight fit. So they really don't fit in there. But these fit in the Walthers. It's probably a slight tolerance thing. So if you're looking for something, um, some mags for the Walther and you can't find them, the Canic ones fit and function fine. So the next gun that I found out that had Matic compatibility was the SR9C. This one has 10 rounds or 17 round mags. When I bought the uh, Security 9, I noticed the mags were very similar and it had the same little cutout. So I tried it in there and sure enough it fits and functions. But I also found something unusual. This is a Masada by IWI and this has a very similar cutout just it's a little wider than the other one. So I figured I'd give it a try and sure enough it fits in there and it functions. Doesn't always stay locked back so this follower on these is just a little bit different Sometimes it'll stay locked back, sometimes it won't. Now, I have tried the 17 round for the SR in here, and it doesn't lock in. Again, you could probably 
modify it to make a bigger cutout and it would probably work because it's the same size and shape roughly it's just that it doesn't have the wider cutout but if you're in a pinch to get the Masada mags or you can't find any Ruger SR9 mags or something then you can use it but the Masada won't fit in the security 9 because the security 9 has notches cut into oh, right there it's got the side mag release instead of the ambidextrous mag release so the cutout is right there for it so but if you if you needed to you could always cut that notch into one of the SR9 and the Masada to make it fit there but right out of the box you can use the IWI in the uh, Ruger so I also noticed an interesting thing the um, car 380s this is an LCP by Ruger this is the car 380 mag it fits in there locks in and I thought it would work but it doesn't feed right because the location of the latch where it locks up doesn't doesn't quite fit so that one it didn't work right which is nice this is why you get these snap caps. But what I found out is this is a Taurus TCP 380. And that one, the car 380 mag fits in, cycles, and locks back. So other than the base, it seems to fit and function just fine. Of course, this, because of the weird base, doesn't, doesn't fit in the car 380 but if you can't find mags for the old tcps or something like that you can always use a car mag and you could probably modify this mag maybe so that way it sits a little higher but other than that if it doesn't feed in the ruger but it will feed in the tcp so this is a mossberg 715 or the 702 series and I bought this a little while ago, and then when I picked up the Rossi RS-22, I noticed that the style is really similar, and everything about it seemed the same. So I was curious about the mags. And sure enough, the mags in, this, in the Rossi and the mags in the Mossberg are the same. I'm pretty sure the guns are made at the same factory. So you could take the Rossi mag, put it into the uh, Mossberg and it cycles no problem and vice versa with the Mossberg into the Rossi you can put it in there and it cycles it no problem and they fire just fine so next we're going to talk about some of the older guns this is a Smith & Wesson 659 and luckily ProMag makes magazines for it this happens to be 17 round, which the old one was a 14 round. And they function pretty good. ProMag's not the greatest, but they're pretty good on most of their mags. Uh, if you find like a Met car or something like that, that's even better. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do when you have an older gun like this. This is a Firestar Plus. Now, when I bought this gun, it didn't have a mag at all. So, luckily, again, ProMag made the Firestar Plus mags. They make them in 10 rounders. They got a dimple there. You could probably drill that out if you wanted to get the full 13 rounds. But And the one downside, again, uh, I wish Pro Mag was a little bit better for their quality. I had to grind, grind this down a little bit on the follower because it wouldn't lock back if I didn't. It would, it, well, it would lock back with the round still in the mag. So it took a little bit of modification, but other than that, it functions fine and that gives me a mag for a gun that's been out for a long time now and you know I like both the series and I want to keep um, using them so gotta find mags for them so that's fine with the other two that you could find the mags but when you get something like this where you've got a star BM and mags are getting hard to find 
Promag did start making them, and I do have some of those, but for a while I couldn't find them. So I found out that a uh, SIG P225 fits. If you grind the opening just a little bit, it'll fit in function and it fires okay. So that's one thing that you can do if you have an old star. Here's another one that was kind of unusual. This is a fire star. I had one a long time ago, and when I found this, I was thrilled to get it, but I only came with two mags. So again, you can grind. This is a mag from a car um, K9, and it fits. You have to uh, grind the opening, but it'll fit in. Now, the interesting thing about that is I had to cut this in order for it to function because I found out and this is why you buy the dummy rounds is when I put it in and I cycled it like that I went to pull it back and it hit right on this surface there so it has to be chamfered a little bit so it doesn't hit if you're going to do stuff like this it's probably a good idea to get some dummy rounds like that so you can try that because if I had taken this out to the range without trying that they would have come back and the bullet would have slammed into the follower and it probably would have destroyed the mag and not cycled the gun, but it, it would have blown apart the mag, at least the plastic part. So those are options for the Firestar and the Star BM. If you can't find the mags, you can modify the P225 for the Star BM. And this is a car K9 mag that um, it doesn't fit as nice as this, but if you make the, I mean, you can always find a new follower or remake it with a, if you've got a 3D printer or something like that. But it's a little bit different. This is a little bit lower, so it doesn't stop it. And the features are a little bit different. But it's better than not having a mag at all. So another thing that I wanted to talk about too was I got the Taurus TX-22. And, of course, I can't find 16-round mags that they came with with factory. So, I did a little bit of research, and I found out that you can take the 10-round mag, which looks like that. The only difference is that you've got a slot that's full length there, and it's not a full length there. And there's a little piece inside that uh, where the plunger is that keeps it from going all the way down so and I'll make another video and post that but basically you cut this part off and it allows the plunger to go all the way down and you have to take out this tiny little piece that they have um, it, for your fingers it's this little piece right here so this little piece is, is what goes in there and it stops it from going all the way down so when you cut this off you have to take this piece out and then it'll allow this to load the full 16. So I will make a video of that and I will post it at some point. Or you can Google it and there are other people that have made videos on that. Another mag that I've had a hard time finding was the Smith & Wesson AR-15 22 caliber mags in 25 rounders. They're just hard to find and stuff so I did some research to find out how to make the 10 round versions, which are limited. They have a pin that's right about there to prevent them from going the whole way. So if you knock out the pin, and I will do a video on how to do that, or you can Google it, and there's other people that have done it as well. But you knock out the pin that's in there with a screwdriver, and it allows the follower to go all the way down. And then for this, I used a um, leather binding screw that it's, you know, it's about it's an 18 millimeter screw that allows it to go through and it fits through there and it works fine. I put a couple washes to make it move smoothly. But like I said, I will post a video on how to do it step by step or you can Google it and find it as well. But basically you can get the 10 rounders, knock out the pin and get it to be a 25 rounder for those states that allow stuff like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. And I think everybody should have the right to keep and arm bears.